is Tommy time With Tommy Sam And if you like comics This is gonna blow your mind What's up everyone, Tommy Syme here. How you doing? It's Monday, June 13th. I got some stuff to show you. Check this out. Look at this. Look at this right here. Good luck trying to get one of these. Look at that. Justice League. We got the Trinity right here. Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, DC Comics. Look at that. We got the cup. That's from Justice League, Jim Lee Art. Look at this. Look at this display. It's Isn't that awesome? I just it fits comic books. It's a display. It's from Walmart. You may or may have not seen it. Walmart's got DC Comics reprint packs, three comics for five bucks. This is what holds them. I got a secret hookup on that. I ain't telling you who it is because it's a secret. Look at this. <laughs> I got some other stuff to show you right off the bat. You know what? Here we're gonna do it. We're gonna open these. I haven't opened these yet. These are comic packs from Walmart. I didn't get the DC ones because they're all just reprints, but look at this. Look at this. I've had these for a while. I've been wanting to show them to you. Let's let's get right into it right here. Check it out. First time opening them. Let's see what I got here. Now, I've seen some people online that have got like She-Hulk number one. Some pretty decent stuff. Some things you wouldn't expect to be in like some cheap sort of grab bag sort of deal here. What do we got? What do we got? Marvel Team Up Issue 5, Iron Man, Spider-Man, Ultimate X-Men Issue number 10. Never seen that before. What is this? Present, what presents Trash Masters for New York City school kids, grades four to 10, issue number one. I have no idea what that is. I don't know, I've never seen that before. Ultimate X-Men number seven, two Ultimate X-Men's. Never seen that before either. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know what that is. The cover art isn't very good on that. I don't know what's, I don't know what's going on with that. That's kind of weird. It doesn't even look right. Like, what is that? What's this border around there? That's a little weird. What is that? I don't know. Adam Kubert. I've, I've seen that name before. That's all right. It's okay. I wasn't planning on getting like New Mutants 87 or anything. What is freaking weird about New Mutants 87? That comic is like a ton of money now. And um, there's a guy online in one of the Facebook uh, comic book groups I'm in. He found one, buy it now, 25 bucks the other day. 25 bucks. And it says in the description of the auction that this guy bought it. The first day it came out, boarded and bag, and has never opened it. So basically, it's like near mint condition. What is this? Look at this. Another Ultimate Marvel team up number five. Number five. What is that? Did I get one of these already? God. Another number five and another number seven. Come on, man. All Uncanny X Men Rules of Engagement, one of two. Jesus, it's all Marvel stuff. What is this? Ultimate X-Men number eight. I guess I'll be reading some Ultimate X-Men here. Look at this. What is this? Why? Why? I thought there was like, you know, kind of a selection of different stuff here. This is all like, I've got multiple copies of the same thing in two different bags. What is going on here? Okay, here we go again. Issue number 10, Ultimate X-Men. What in the hell? I'm going to have to get all the rest of them now if these are any good. Or I'll give them away to somebody. I don't know. If you want these, hit me up. Comment on here. Say, I want those, Tommy Syme. Send them to me. And, you know, if you're nice enough, I'll send them to you. What do we got here? Marvel Comics, The Mighty Thor. Lord of Asgard. Look at that. Is that who is that? Is that Apocalypse? I don't know who that is. It looks like Apocalypse. I don't know. Apocalypse kind of looks like Dark Side. It's kind of weird, man, considering Thanos is like a dark side copy. Look at this. Ultimate Spider-Man issue 27. Man, they must have had a lot of these. And then what is this? The Call of Duty, The Brotherhood. A fireman comic book? I mean, this is cool if you're a fireman, but man, what is this? They go to put fires out and stuff? That's pretty like, I don't know, man. You know, I mean, firemen are cool, but come on, they're not superheroes. They're heroes, they're not superheroes, you know? Look at this. Check this out. This is Batman, Superman, Dawn of Justice, K. 
key ring. Whoa, look at him. Look at what can you get here. There's a bunch of different things I've got in my, I got my boy Jake one of these for his birthday. Actually, two of them. Let's see what this one is. Where do you open this? thought they had a little thing to open it. We're just going to cut it open. Let's get right to the, see what it is. What is this? Who is it? Oh, that is, that looks like Bruce Wayne to me. Look at that. I think these would be a lot cooler if they didn't have that keychain thing on here because I'm not going to put that on a keys, man. That thing's going to get all dirty. This thing's going to end up breaking off. I know how keychains work. I love keychains, but, you know, they're kind of weird. Stuff like this, it's going to get ruined real fast. So I'm not putting this on a key. That is definitely Bruce Wayne. I'm going to say it's Bruce Wayne. It says exclusive. He's not on the back. Look at that. He's not on the back. It says there's a mystery. Two mystery guys. This is one of them. That's got to be Bruce Wayne. It doesn't say. It's a little piece of paper in there. That's Bruce Wayne. Well, let's get to the other one. Let's see what we got here. Here's another one. What is this? Same deal. Same deal. Let's see who it is. Let's see here. Who do we got? That is... That is Clark Kent. Look at that. Clark Kent, and that is the other exclusive. What are the odds of that? What are the odds? How exclusive are they? I just got two of them, and it's the same. I got both of them. That's funny. Whatever, that's cool. Uh, let's see, what do I got to show you? DC Rebirth. DC Rebirth is in full effect. Look at this. They sold out of these really quick. All the stores, at least around here, don't have them. And... To tell you the truth, um, they're selling for like $15, $20 online, but I'm not going to sell this because this is what I got right here. These are mine. This is what's going down right here. The rebirth is in full effect. Look at this number. I won't... This is DC Universe Rebirth number one. This is the very first issue of that. This is really good. I just started like reading it for the second time yesterday. We got Batman right here. This is the Batman rebirth. This... It's probably my favorite thing so far. Detective Comics 934, right where it left off before the New 52 started. We got Batwoman, we got Stephanie Brown, Batman, Robin, Clayface. Supposedly Azrael is in it. I think so. I was trying to avoid spoilers. Look at Wonder Woman Rebirth. This is awesome. You know what? They are like ending all these stories that I buy, which is kind of good because I'm trying to cut back on like all the stuff. There's a ton of books that I get. And I'm not saying it's good because I don't want to buy them, but I really don't want to buy like as many as I've been buying. It's, it's expensive. Look at this. Green Arrow Rebirth. We got Green Lantern Rebirth. This is Power Ring from the Crime Syndicate of Earth 2. She is a Green Lantern now. That's pretty, that's pretty awesome. Last time I saw you guys, this is what I've gotten since then. DC Comics Bombshells number 12. Love this story. Pick it up. They didn't end this. This is still going on. That's pretty awesome. I'm glad they're, you know, I thought at first it seemed like they were getting rid of all their stories. Well, they ended Catwoman, and that's kind of, it's kind of a bummer, okay? Because it ended with an amazing storyline. Like, it could they could have kept going with it. Like, she had this boyfriend... Anyways, he ended up being a part of the Black Mask's gang. Like, he wanted to take over the gang. He was the White Mask. First time I've ever heard of that character, to be honest with you. And she didn't expect him to be in this gang. It was kind of a huge surprise. They ended it where it, it could keep going. DC Comics, Bombshells number 12. They're, they're keeping this going. This is not ending. For some reason, I thought... They were totally wiping everything out and just going with Rebirth titles. We got Starfire number 12. This might be the last issue. Jimmy Palmiotti, Amanda Connor. I love this story. It's either this is the last or issue number 13. They're wrapping that up. Dark Knight 3, The Mass Race, book 4. you got to read this. If you're not reading this, this is really good. Frank Miller is probably one of the most famous comic book people of all time. There's this picture of Frank Miller with Stan Lee and Todd McFarlane at this baseball game. It's pretty amazing. If I was at that game and I saw those people there, I'd be like, whoa. They totally put them there for like a photo op or something like that. Just like we got to get a picture of them just hanging out with each other. I don't think they normally all go to see baseball games with each other, but Frank Miller looks older than Stan Lee, and Stan Lee's like 90-something. It's crazy. 
Harley Quinn 27, we got Red Tool again. Deadpool's a rip off of Deathstroke, so it's hilarious. It's funny. You know what I'm saying? They just keep going with this. Harley Quinn, Amanda Connor. I love the way Amanda Connor draws Harley Quinn. It's awesome. Here we go right here. Catwoman 52. This is the last issue with the Black Mask is in this. And they reveal that the Black Mask, his mask is made from the meteor that killed the dinosaurs that is nuts like that i just thought that was awesome there's like a little story in the back of here it kind of like goes into detail about the black mask it's it's pretty interesting there's the issue 51 man honestly the story should not end i don't want it to end it's very good it's my favorite they got it going really good again and i don't know it's ending already there's like four issues they shouldn't end they shouldn't end it that quick i don't know they can keep it going I don't know. I don't think the numbers are that like high for uh, Catwoman stuff. I feel like I'm the, I'm the only person I know that buys that story, so I, I don't know. Check this out. Batgirl 52. My boy Jake got this for me. Look at that. That's a Babs Tar variant cover based on Adam Hughes' number one issue of Batgirl. That's awesome. Catwoman issue number 52. Look at that. That is an awesome variant cover. This is a take on the very first issue of Catwoman from the new 52. That's a beautiful cover right there. I like it better than the first one, to be honest with you. Harley Quinn number 27. Look at this. John Romita Jr. cover. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Batgirl 51. How am I going out of order here? Batgirl 51. Look at that. Batgirl. Speaking of Batgirl... Check this out. Look at that. That's a Babs Tar Batgirl. Look at this. This is Funko, man. Seriously, Funko made this. Go to Target. Go to Target. They got these. This is sweet. They got, um, they have got Supergirl and Wonder Woman and Batgirl. I like it. I like those yellow boots. Justice League 50. I love this cover. Dark Side War. It's good. I'm not going to ruin it. It leads right into, um, the Rebirth. So if you want to read The Rebirth, I suggest reading The End of the Dark Side War and Justice League. Let's see what else I got here. What do we got here? Justice League 49. See, I'm going out of order. Batman vs. Superman variant. I forgot to show these. This was the last video I had. I had these and they were just chilling there. So I thought I'd show you. Deathstroke. Number 17, John Romita Jr. variant cover. That is a beautiful one. This is probably my favorite one out of all the variants that he did. That's an awesome cover right there. JLA number one, Grant Morrison reprint. One dollar for that. I've got the first issue. I've got all three volumes of JLA that he, he wrote. Kevin Smith said... This is his favorite comic book series right here. And that's what made me check it out, you know. Kevin Smith, I'm not really a big fan of his movies, to be honest with you. I like Red State. It's probably his best movie, I think. I'm not really a huge, like, Jay and Silent Bob fan. But I like hearing him talk about comic books. As long as he's not, like, super high. Which he usually is most of the time. So, it's kind of weird, man. Let's see what else I got right here. Poison Ivy, Cycle of Life and Death, number 5. This is an amazing story. Read this. Poison Ivy, one of the best, one of the best characters ever, in my opinion. Number five of six. Pick this one up. Pick all of them up. Look at the last issue of Wonder Woman 52 right there. That is an iconic looking cover. That'll go down as one of the best Wonder Woman covers ever. Check it out. What else we got here? Oh, this is the Babs Tar Batgirl 52. This is the standard cover, and that's awesome. I love her art, honestly. Look at this. I already showed this to you, but you can see. That's the same character. This is based on her version of Batgirl. But look at this, Deathstroke 18. This has got to be the best cover of Deathstroke. And I thought that was Tony Daniel, but that is Tyler Kirkham, who's Tony Daniel's apprentice. This guy can draw really good, honestly. He picked up, like... I don't know, man. He draws, honestly, as good as Tony Daniel does. He, like, learned how to do it really good, really fast. Within, literally, like, probably a year or two, 
he's just as good as Tony Daniel, in my opinion. Suicide Squad Most Wanted, Deadshot, and Katana, five of six. This is a good story. I like this. They're leading in a Suicide Squad that comes out in two months. It's going to be awesome. Secret 614. Gail Simone, check this story out. If you want something that's a little bit different, get this. Go get the trade paperback of this and start from the beginning or buy all the issues on eBay. If you like weird stuff, read that. It's a good one. Here we go. We're continuing. What do we got? Bombshell is number 13. Look at that beautiful comic right here. Sweet. I love the way they draw these characters in this story. It's just good. It's like all, all like 50, 60 style. DC Universe Rebirth number one. I've got them all mixed up here. I've already shown you this. This is the second one I've got. They're already going for 20 bucks. Like I said, Batman Rebirth number one. Second copy right here. Harley Quinn's Gang of Harleys 206. That's beautiful art. Amanda Connor art. Love this stuff right here, man. Look at this. Jim Lee, Scooby-Doo. Totally different looking Scooby-Doo. That's just awesome right there. Actually, when I was at Walmart getting that display piece, this guy right here, this dude comes up behind me and goes, oh man, that's Jim Lee talking about this. And I'm like, heck yeah, dude. He's like, I got Jim Lee's like X-Men. And I'm like, yeah, I got that too. And he was like, I heard Jim Lee was doing a Scooby-Doo story. And I was like, yep, I got it. It's already out. Go check it out. Pretty cool, man. Seriously. Jim Lee, anything Jim Lee draws is amazing. Probably my second favorite artist ever. DC Comics Bombshells. 14. This is with the Rebirth logo right there. They changed the logo, obviously. You probably know that. It's still going. It's still going. That's good to know. I'm glad that... Some stories are carrying over still and that they're not ending everything. But honestly, go get Rebirth issues if you don't have them. Get Batman, get all of them. There's more of them coming out on Wednesday. All right, I got to show you this. I haven't opened this yet. Let's check this out right now. It's a surprise. What is it? You're about to find out. Be careful here. Let's do it. Let's see what it is, Tommy. What is it, Tommy? You're about to find out. Oh man, this is packaged very well. Let's just hope everything looks all good. So, this is dude off eBay. That's where this is coming from. I'll show you what it is right now after. If I can get in here, geez Louise. Uh oh, here we go. Man. I don't like when it says do not bend on there because you know what? I think they purposely bend it when they see that. I used to work for UPS and man, they don't, your little messages you write on there, they don't get them. So the, people are gonna like ignore that. They're throwing shit around. I've seen it happen. I've seen it happen, all right? There's cardboard in here, that's good. This person knows what they're doing, obviously. I've seen a lot of things online, pictures that people have posted when they order books and people will send them in a goddamn envelope. Like, that's going to protect it. Like, you got to do better than that. You got to do better than that. This is all cardboard. Up. Look at that. Look at this. Come on now. Wow. Freaking bomb proof. Seriously, that's good. First, look at this. I want to show you this. I got hush. Clearance, clearance, hush. The package is all beat up, but man, that is a badass character. I thought I'd show this to you real quick. Nightfall Batman. And Selena Kyle from Arkham City, which is about to come out. Like the remastered game. It's like the collection, man. I gotta beat Arkham Knight, seriously. I'm, I don't play games enough. I've got a PS4 and I'm slow at playing it. I don't have a lot of time to be playing games. I wish I did, but you know how it is, whatever. That's cool. It's cool, here we go. They're in Mylar bags, that's, that's a good sign. So this guy knows what he's doing. 
in between this, there's like, look at that. That's four layers of cardboard. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. Hell, yes. Look at this. Sword of Azrael. The Sword of Azrael. This is the first appearance of Azrael. But, not just one. There's four of them. All near mint. Yep, these are all mint. Oh, my God. Dude. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, yes. Look at this. Wow. Look at that. There's not one thing wrong with any of these. That's badass, dude. Four copies of the first appearance of Azrael. Beautiful. Man. Azrael is just fucking awesome. And this comic is awesome. I wanted this. Now it's time to send to my boy Pete in Florida, Heroes Haven Comics, then off to CGC, and then back here in Michigan. I'm Tommy Syme. This is Comic Time. I'll see you later.